And we're about to bring you the clash between the host team Malaysia and Singapore. Here's how they managed to get through. Both teams won their quarterfinals convincingly. Singapore by 3-1 to one over Myanmar. And Malaysia against Laos by 3-0. to nil. The other semi-finalists are Indonesia and Thailand. So we're looking at the bottom of the draw here. Singapore against Malaysia. The winner will go through to the gold medal match. And we'll see singles and doubles played starting with the singles between uh, Ryan Ng and Iskander so Singapore team to the left Malaysia to the right of the screen as you saw it then and whether we get through the entire Ladies schedule or not depends on Blizzard the results. The and officials of the so today we had a 3-0 three, three and a 3-1, so four days. matches played. And the drums start to beat, and the lights will come on, and the crowd, and you can see already down to the right there, the Malaysian supporters being very, very enthusiastic. The drums start the beat pounds around the stadium and the players almost like boxing style enter in darkness to the music and the noise That'll be the introduction of officials and players. The players will have a warm-up. And then we'll be into the first of the matches, the first tie in the men's team semi-final. Malaysia against Singapore. Ryan Ung and Iskandar Zulkarnayan. Iskander, 26 years of age. The Singaporean, just 19. So one of those up-and-comers. And although the, the top players, some of them are at the World Championships in Glasgow, uh, such as the depth of Malaysian badminton especially, there's still a definite threat here for the title, not just in the teams, but also in the other forms of the badminton here at the SEA Games. 2017 but there's also the emergence and development of uh, some of the young Singapore players and that really makes this an event to look forward to the only loss for Singapore in the quarterfinal this morning was uh, I think Dominic So uh, was uh, beaten in his singles match but uh, still gaining valuable experience a 20 year old in fact the oldest of the Singapore team is is Danny Chris Nanta who's 29 but the rest are all 19, 20, uh, 22 so a very young squad and similarly youthful from Malaysia with this man here with his back to us now we're just playing the backhand in the warm up Iskander being 26 umpire is from the Philippines service judge from Thailand I need to play so we're about ready to start players just disrobing retying the shoes making sure they're absolutely in top shape before they go out onto this court one to begin the first of the semi-finals. Because it's a home tie, uh, Malaysia, there will be plenty of noise. And this man and the rest of his team will know that they've got support here. Ladies, 
ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Singapore, represented by Ryan Ortiz-Wei. And on my left, Malaysia, represented by Iskandar Sultani. Singapore to serve, the goal, play. The tie is underway. Got the score, tick up the top there. Is that smash goes wide from the Singaporean. Delicate placement. Service over. One all. Again, very good placement from Ryan Ung. Two, one. Pushing that one wide. Those players, uh, specialist singles players with Iskander. Uh, way back half a dozen years ago it was a world junior championship silver medalist and uh, this man here had this quarterfinals of the singles at the world juniors last year Oh, again, just pushing the previous shot wide and dropping the point, but this time getting it. So he leads by four to three. The early stages of this semi final tie between Singapore and Malaysia. Men's teams competition. Gander up to it this time, retrieving well. Best rally, well left. Good judgment. 6 4. Smash is retrieved, and he just pushes the next shot wide. There it goes, and then just easing off the pace. Nice deception. And Skander just looking... Wondering whether that had gone wide, but it certainly looked in and is called that way. It's six all now. <laughs> Effective drop shot. Seven, six. Ryan and now in front by seven to six as Iskander takes the net. Oh. 
That's wide. Oh, really attacking the net. <laughs> Makes it two points in a row. Nine seven. Jump smash, pushes it wide. Three points in a row. 10-7 to the Malaysian. Seven seven as Kander of Malaysia leads. This is the opening tie. I think in one of our replays. So 7-10. Just wondering whether that actually it picked up a, a net cord, but I wasn't too sure about that. No, no, we've got it back now. 10-8. 10-8 is the score. So change in the score. A little bit of conjecture there from the coaching staff. Now 11-8. Three points the margin. So it's taken a wee while. They're warm, warming into this game, though. First few points were fairly straightforward. We've seen a few better rallies. Fine judgment from Iskander. This is a big moment for Brian Ung. He'd dearly love to claim the scalp of Iskander. Vastly more experienced. This is the best rally so far. Iskander this time has put under pressure. Excellent point there from the Singapore player. In. Yep. 10 12. 12. Two points since that break for Singapore. This is the first, first game. The 
this is a very hot period of a, this match for Ryan Ung of Singapore. It was too. 12. 12 all, so he's pulled back a deficit of four to now be at 12 all. <laughs> nice retrieving, not that time though. He did well on the first smash from the scander. Really good period for the Singapore player. Just wrong footed then. Gets the point back. So far, 13 all. And now it's Ryan Ung in the lead at 14 to 13. First game. Court right deep down to the baseline. 15, 14. And again, the Finesse was better from Ung. The drop shot, and then we see Iskander stepping in, not quite at the flight of the shuttlecock. That one's thrown straight at him. Good drive, 17. straight at the Malaysian. 17-14. Unforced error there from Ang. It's 17-15. The Skander fighting his way back in this first. Now 17-16. Oh, the tactic was right. Quickly in with the drive, but it clipped the net. Yeah. Seventeen all. This is the first game of the semi-final tie in the men's teams competition. 19, Singapore versus Malaysia. Singles, doubles, singles, 
doubles, well play, singles at the end as well if required. Oh, another excellent drive into that backhand corner. Here it goes. Scrambling Malaysian, couldn't control it. Game point. See the players are producing a fair amount of sweat. Keeping that court swept. Here we go. Can the Singaporean capture this first? At 20 to 17. The Malaysian stretching for everything. And out. Just 2018. Iskander just signalling to the line judges in case they didn't see that, that it was wide. What a great rally. Iskander giving it everything. He's not giving up on this first game. Delicate judgment and he puffs out his cheeks as he comes back knowing that that was a vital decision of his to push that away to his opponent's forehand and look at him on the left here. <laughs> Big point, 20 to 19. He has the serve. Oh, there it goes. First game. 21-19. To Ryan Ng of Singapore. And that's a very encouraging start for the 19-year-old from Singapore. Started a little bit nervously, but then managed to break away to a three-point advantage. Iskander fought his way back, but he did get up to hold game point. I think uh, three game points. And he made full use of them. 21-19. So the first step completed by Singapore. Now Iskander goes back having chatted with his coach. And you can expect a fierce retaliation from the Malaysian. Not liking the fact that he's down by one in this first tie. Men singles. Isn't it a good atmosphere? Second game, no ball, play. One more. 
Martin gets the first point of the second game. Accurate down his opponent's forehand. Oh, and he might have misjudged that, has he? 3 0, yes. Fault at the service. That'll be frustrating for Ung. <laughs> Wins the point back and the service. So the so far. Played. Opened it up for himself to score that nice deep pushing the Malaysian to his forehand and then stretching him well wide. Service changes hands now. 6 2, Singapore leading. This is the second game of this first tie. Six one, it's now six four. Iskander. Oh, another good point, six five. five six. He meant that. And that, he's drawn it back to 6 all. 6 all. Lovely in slow motion, isn't it? High jump at the baseline. Forehand overhead. Watching, of course, the shuttle as well as peripheral vision on the direction it's going to go right down that sideline <laughs> up to level again at 7 all this was all about touch wasn't it no smashes no drives at all just delicate movement so the sophomore, eight, seven. good period of serve from Iskander there the second game was starting to just elude him really it was uh, six love six one and then he got his way back to seven all so right back in it F 
would slip maybe therefore um, you can see him just checking back here oh yeah oh he went over on his right ankle I don't think there's any moisture there I'm just testing it again oh beaut Edmonton's been played at most Sea Games competitions and just having a look at the records earlier today to see which team really had been dominant and since uh, in the 19 events since 1977 Indonesia has won 15 gold medals in the men's teams 15 of the 19 and Malaysia has won the other four Indonesia have really been extremely dominant. Malaysia, of course, have a man who's, uh, until recently, until this last couple of days, uh, been ranked number two in the world, Lee Chong Wei. And a big upset for him at the World Championships in Glasgow when he was beaten in the opening round. nine the sting is really sort of uh, left hung for the moment another quick point so all of a sudden it's 13 9 four point advantage and he hasn't really fired a shot in that time having got away to a blistering start early and having won the first 21 19 so just a we gather that was out again 14-9 14-9 getting the service back is important 14-10 14 to 10, even though you score off uh, every shot with whether, whether you've served or not it's the winner of the point who does get the point unlike the old days where some of these games would go on forever 14 11 now singapore still with the service point was very quick we were still on the replay when the point was scored 16-11 there it goes drive off the return
Oh, beautiful. From the baseline, cross court, dropping it the Malaysian's feet. Point at the net. He's found his mojo again. He's got out of that little doldrum that he was in. 16 to 14. Pushed it wide. Sigh of relief for Iskander. Because those points were building up against him. Still has the lead though. 17 to 14 now as Ung pushes that wide. Second game. That's wide. So the sober. 15, 17. Oh, great retrieving from Iskander. A point looked to be the Singaporeans all the way, but he scrambled it out. Lives in the rally still, and out is the call. He's not happy. Oh, look at him point at the spot. That's a vital point. I'm not changing their minds on it. Tenacious, staying there at 18-16. He took the first game by 21 to 19. Ryan Ung. Pushes that, that's, well, let's just let himself down slightly in there. Anxious to get the win up. 1916 now, service with Iskander. Service over, 1917 to 1719. Tense match. Put it out. A scandal duck. That was a very tense rally. Scandal bringing on all his wiles to keep in that game. It's game point. Second game. Checks the line. Plays it. That hit. The Singaporean is 21 to 17. So one game each. Tight in the opening rubber of this. 21-19 in the first. 21-17 in the second. A game each. 
watch the flight of this to end the second game. And it meant something to him. Not happy at losing the first. Now he gets back to where it all started. Even. Ready for the decider. Final game. In the far court in the Double. red. Singapore's Ryan Ung. Closer to us. Iskanda from Malaysia. Who's just won the second game. 17 to 21 after dropping the first to 19. Great flick at the net. Watch this next shot here. Just up flick. Not allowed to touch the net, of course. That's wide. Service changes over. 2-1. On the line. So the score, three, one. Well, Ung will be thinking, I didn't get that break in the previous match, uh, previous game. And it could well have made the difference. But the line judges are very attentive. I know. I've watched a lot of badminton in their time. Service over. Two, three. Not quite delicate enough. Hard to control the length of the push from in front of the face.
well placed by the Singaporean. Four, six. This one here. Deceptive. But the action, he could have been driving it towards the base. But he didn't, just pushed it over. Six, four. Going for the winner off the serve. Longer serve. So the sober seven four. Nice deception. But it, oh, it didn't, he didn't get the point. I thought it had gone over. 8-4. Malaysia now leading. Oh, it did. It fell on the wrong side. I thought it had hit the net and gone over. 8-4. But gosh, the recovery in that very good rally from when Ung was on the ground, flat on the ground after playing a shot bouncing back to his feet to be there in time to get the next return in that shirt sticking to him it's an intriguing opening rubber this one game each on the line again He really attacked that. There was no way that he was going to miss that shot. Young put it up a bit high over the net. There. It was right for this, for the drive at the net. And he took it. Took a bit of the net at the same time. 10-4. I think the call was foot fault. There's been one of those each. Oops, we're not going to hear. I thought she was just going over to check with the with umpire Brasola from the Philippines. Now he's back. 5-10. And wide. Another excellent rally, but the Malaysian sees it through. 11-5 in the third. for the change of ends in this deciding Part one, 20 game. 11-5 is the score. Malaysia still with the serve. This is the man we're talking about, Iskander. 21-19, he lost the first. 21-17, he won the second. He has a six-point advantage in the third and deciding game. Both of these players making their mark at Junior World Championships. For this man it was last year and for the Malaysian it was uh, nine years ago. He's 
finished in the top four. And it was in the quarterfinals last year. So both specialists in singles play. Oh, of course, some in the team who will specialise in doubles. Oh, a lovely placement. He liked that point. Even though Ung was ready to go to his left, he was too far back from the net. Couldn't get there. A cute angle from the Malaysian. He takes it out to 10 now. It seemed, when you were watching that, you might have noticed it was uh, the Singaporean who was doing all the running. Malaysian able to get to the centre of the court all the time, quite quickly. Just kept working the angles. Can he fight back from here? 16 to 5. Big advantage. And there's one. So the sophomore. 6, 16. Both players using the towel as we come to the final stages of the first rubber. The singles, the first of the singles in the men's team's semi-final between Singapore and Malaysia. The noise continues to build. It reaches a crescendo as Iskander gets another point. Ah, excellent. Cross-court smash and he goes to 17-7 or 7-17. But in the mid-stages of this third game, it's the Malaysian who's really made the most impact. That's three points in a row no. for Ang. Change of shuttle. A disappointing end to the longest rally of the match. 18-9 now. Iskander leads. If the rest is as good as this, you won't want to leave. Have you so far? 10, 18. Short serve.
very few service faults at all. Jump smash from the baseline from Iskander, but recovery is good. Oh, and it was going into empty space too. But the net was too high. 19-10, <laughs> Iskander just a couple of points away. Look at him, he was scrambling. He would not have got to that. Two points away from taking this match. And he's dealing with a tenacious young player. Oh, what was his judgment like? It was spot on again. Match point. Well, he made him work for it, throwing his body about the court, even when he was 10 points down, diving, scrambling, but in the end beaten by a better player on the, on the day. It's Iskander of Malaysia winning the first rubber, the singles, against Ung of Singapore. Watch this end. 17, 21. A final point. <laughs> Which just showed and highlighted what we've seen throughout the three games. Iskander wins it 21-19, 17-21, 21-10. And they justify, they're justified in the applause which sees them depart centre stage. And it's been a very good opening. There is the result. 2-1 Malaysia taking the early lead. Next up we have the first of the doubles.
So we come to the first of the men's doubles. And the Malaysian combination buoyed by the fact that they've got away to a, an excellent start with that singles win by Iskander. 2-1 it was, the match score over Ung of Singapore. So Singapore represented in the doubles by Terry He and Lo Ken Hien. And Malaysia by Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi Yi. They've played doubles together a lot, these two combinations, even though they're only young, uh, 22 through to 20 through to 24, so average age there of 22 years for the four of them. So youngsters, but when they've been playing the game since uh, the early ages, uh, eight or nine years of age, they've played a lot, they've suffered injuries, they've had the highs and lows, They've made the progress they wanted to and sometimes they've remained static but now here they are representing their countries again and this in the semi-finals. The men's doubles first match and here they are getting ready for their warm-up introductions and then we'll be underway with the second match of the men's team's semi-final between Malaysia and Singapore. Closest to us now, but is back to us in the warm up stages. 24 years of age, a double specialist, as is his partner, Ong. And on this side, uh, Terry He, at 20 years of age, and his playing partner, Lo Kian Hien. Judges have changed for this match. The Malaysians are on court ready to go. This is the doubles, the first doubles. Like I say, they're swatting flies. And it's just to remain active, keep in the groove. They've had a sharp warm up, but they, of course, were warming up before this. So Tio, the shorter of the two from Malaysia. Ong Yusin, 22 years of age. Tio Yi is 24. Being kept in the dark there. And the coaches. The noise will start in a moment, I'm sure, from the Malaysian fans, Singapore in the far court. Singapore! Represented by Lee Yong Kai Terry and Lake Lok Kenyan. And on my left, Malaysia. Represented by Theo AJ and Ong Yeo Sin. Malaysia to serve. Malaysia to serve with Ong beginning this match. Double play. So 
service turned over immediately. Singapore have it. A bit of a scratchy beginning from the peers. Tio with the service now. Three one Malaysia leading. This is a great start for them. Well, playing the front of the court for Singapore. Now drops back as his teammate comes in to take that situation. 7-1. Wow. Early stages. Drive going right at the opposition player. Watch it coming now. All he could do was fling the... Racket at it from behind the back and hope it made contact. Service over. Good return of service there from Two, eight. Terry He. Malaysians covering everything Singapore are throwing at them. Forcing the error, 9-2. Long serving. at the back they win the point good drop shot just at the feet of the Malaysian Oh, it might have gone in. Oh no, 11 3 it is. Singaporean playing that shot. Law Kian Hien. He's a 22 year old. He's the older brother of Law Kian Yu. Both of them are born in Malaysia, so they're playing against their fellow colours, their parents and uh, the rest of their family are still in Malaysia, they're here in Malaysia, but the two boys went to Singapore at uh, eight or nine years of age and went to school and continued with their 
badminton as well and now here they are wearing the red colors of Singapore There's Level three. Long just uh, at the back in the red shirt covering the backcourt Pushing it deep. 14, 3. Come is over. Four, four, Two three. smashes and then a little drop shot. One. And then the, just a feint and the dropping it over the net to get the point and the service. Just as importantly. In between the two players goes the shuttle. Fifteen four. Fifteen four. Sizable early advantage in this the first game. Sixteen four. Malaysians on a roll. Tio playing it up the front of the court. Now on. Getting another point out of this, 18-4, running away with the first. Picked up three of the last four points scored. Service over. 19, eight. Two points off the first game. Malaysia. Just clipping the top of the net and falling for them. Service over. Day 20. It's the most convincing point. Okay, <laughs> shadow cock. Oh, the best rally till the end, waiting till the end of the first game. Into the space. There it is, 21-10. Malaysia take the first game in the first men's doubles rubber. 21-10, Malaysia.
This is a weird test here for the young Singapore combination. Lo Ken Hien, 22 years of age. And uh, Terry He at 20. But age has got nothing to do with it, really, because uh, Ong and Teo are a similar age. 22 for Ong and 24 for Teo. Teo was in the Thomas Cup team, which won a bronze last year in the doubles. Well, they, they were the good combination. So they are the future of badminton and their respective countries. We can expect uh, to see further progress from all four players by the time of the Asian Games Two, next year. This uh, Commonwealth Games coming up for some of the countries here at the Sea Games. That is a constantly big competition for badminton. The Thomas and Hubert Cups are World Championships, there are Junior World Championships, Olympic Games and various regional games, uh, the Badminton Cup, World Cup circuit. So they get exposed to lots of top players of their own age in some areas. So there's constantly chances to improve. Singapore. 3-2. Service over. Service over. Three, oh. Service fault. Singapore. Three all. They were up three two. Fault at service time. Well, maybe at, uh, at the break, Singapore players were told, just, just be yourselves, do what you do at practice. You're a bit uptight, too worried about this. Just let it flow, and that's better. 4-3. There's your team favoured to go through to the final. Oh, wasn't that a good return? Six, Wham! They can flick down the centre. And then another good point too. So all of a sudden the deadlock is broken at 7-5 Malaysia. the team getting a run at scoring and said that that's two points in a row for Singapore and now back to level at eight all oh what's the call it was in on the line
Oh, well read. Showing good speed to get across, right across the net. Long, look at him move here. And diving to his right. What a change. This is 11-8 now. Singapore in front. This is a totally changed attitude from the young man in red. They were tentative and unsure in the first. And now they're pumped up. They're buoying each other up. And they're making Malaysia work very hard here. Notice neither player is looking at his coach. Uh, <laughs> they're nodding, listening probably. But sometimes the mind is away to the next shot. But the information at the break was good for them. They hold a lead. 11-8. Communication breakdown there. They both half went for that shot. So it's over. Well, nine. Making mistakes, both teams close to the net. There's a bit of tension there now. 2013 10, Singapore. That's three or four in a row where the points have been scored with that sort of shot. The drop shot just failing to clear the net. Oh yes, driven between the two players. 15-11. Giving nothing away on their faces. <laughs> but internally they'll be feeling a lot better than they were in that first half where you could see they just wondered, almost uh, you could read the fact that they were wondering what was going on with Loh and he. nightmarish first game for them 21-10 it was Malaysia staying close 13-15 long serve good balance from Teo Reaching back, driving straight at his opponent. They've come all the way back to be level at 15 all. Terry Heat to the front, receiving. Nicely judged. 
16-15. This game finally balanced. Oh. It happens. Look at him backtracking here and then off. Just sort of fell, really. I don't think there was a slip at all. Fault. You can see from the left-hand side there, the service judge calls the fault. 17, 16. Well, that's gone out. Low. Pushing the boundaries with each of those four shots. Pushing them deep. Which way will this go? Will we go to a decider? Or will Malaysia hang on? Vastly different second game to that first in which Singapore were not really in the match uh, in the game at all. They certainly are in this game. Serving at 18-17. Oh, working the court himself down there. Tio. His partner was stranded way over on the far side as he slipped down there. And it was Tio who had to play the next two shots. And he did it well. 18 all. Second game, tantalizingly close, but for both of these teams. 19 all now. Malaysia serve. Oh, picked off nicely by Singapore. Great response. On the ground and up to his feet again is Law. He's out of court. The smash comes in. 2019 Malaysia. Match point. Malaysia, first game 10, a 21-10, second, they're one point away from the match. Oh, another call from the one on the left, the service umpire. And again it goes against Tio. Listen to the crowd. Fabulous rally. 21-20. Singapore. Main point. Whew. This one. Tia was doing all sorts here.
both, both of them on the ground at one stage. So game point, Singapore have it. Oh, what a brilliant game. The Singaporeans held their nerve. 22 to 20. It's one each. What a remarkable turnaround from that first game. And this was a fantastic final point. Watch the reaction. From Law in particular when Malaysia put it in the net Terry he as well a bit more subdued but they like that that's justified the faith from the coaches so 21-10 Malaysia the first 22-20 Singapore the second the decider coming up After that first game, I think most of most of us would be thinking there would not be the need for a third. But Singapore's play, they were transformed in the second game. And their confidence receiving a, an incredible boost after that. They fought it out. They were in danger of losing it after leading at various stages but they held it out and played some superb shots and that last rally was certainly memorable one all Malaysia get the first point in the third Tio's played well. One, oh. Law, his eyes lit up when he's when he saw this. Charged in, put it away. picked off by Ong lunging to his right finds the gap between the two opposition players puts it deep and Singapore return the compliment Effective drop serve. T 
Jesse Rowe. He's very effective. This is the jump smash from his partner. But look at this. More acute angle. Puts it at the feet of the opposition. That's again, he's done that, just driven it between the two Singapore players. Another winner from T.O. level throughout this no one's making a break Excellent rally, but I think we might have had uh, Racket touching the net. Let's see who's got the point. Malaysia. Play. Oh, player touching the net, yeah. Just see it there. This might be a better angle. Oh. Oh yes, just with his shoulder, gosh, ever so slight. Service over. Smart return of service. Fine judgment. Oh. <laughs> and again. So that was the biggest margin that would have two points at 10-8. Eleven nine in this third and deciding game. So Malaysia hold a one match advantage. The first tie was the singles between uh, Ryan Ng and Iskander. And uh, the Singaporean won the first 21-19. But then the Malaysian won the second 21-17 and the third 21-10. That was the same score as the first game of this particular match. And the first of the doubles. Malaysia winning 21-10 but... 
and Singapore winning the second 22-20 we're at the mid stage of the third game and it's Malaysia with a slight advantage An even slighter advantage now. We're back at all square. Well, that was out. Yes, wide. The arms spread by the line judge. couldn't manage the return from deep towards the backcourt a little bit of pressure here they've seen very few faults at service I'm talking uh, the flight of the shuttle rather than any foot faults at all advantage of two now oh just trickled over This just sat on the top of the net. Look, oh, drifted over. The weight carried it over. <laughs> There's not much weight, as you know. That was just that fell the right way for Singapore. Oh, and out again so there we are the biggest lead in this game three points Malaysia 16 Singapore 13 Both on the ground. <laughs> I wondered if we'd capture that shot. They were both there, but only for a split second. Lo Kin Hien throws his head back in dismay. again that's the wrong side of the net for Singapore five point advantage lots of work to do for the men in red now but they get one back off the service
working the baseline, pushing Tio around. Ong takes over now. Tio at the net. There's a smash in between them again. He does it so well. Singapore unable to silence this crowd, this home crowd. And again, they're at match point now, Malaysia. They stave it off for a moment. 2015. 15, 20. Out. It was out. Signal wide. The Singaporeans challenge. But it will be a short-lived challenge, I fear. They shake hands now. And Malaysia have taken the first doubles. Two sets, two games to one. Is this the final point? There we go. Oh, look at the Malaysian player Ong to look at the line judge. So too did he. And there's the final score, 21-15 in that third and decisive game. So Malaysia have taken the first two rubbers, the men's singles and the men's doubles. We've got more coming up for you in a moment from this semi-final the first of the semi-finals Singapore Malaysia the men's teams event
Coming up, match three. It's the second of the men's singles rubbers. Singapore represented by Law and Malaysia by Song. Indonesia. Song Yu Ben for Malaysia. One. And Law Kin Yu, who is the brother of Law King Ken, who played in the doubles a short time ago. So into the darkness they walk. Greeted by the noise of the Malaysian supporters who have been thrilled by their team's performance to date. They take a 2-0 lead in this semi-final. Introductions will be made. We'll meet the new panel of for the new judges, referees and judges. And of course the players. Lo Ken Yu, 20 year old, won the bronze medal in the singles uh, in Singapore in 2015. Currently doing his uh, national service, so he hasn't played a great deal of late just getting really back into it so he of course uh, playing in the red of Singapore and Song Yuven who was uh, that last year was the runner up in the Scottish Open Scotland is where the world championships are being played at the moment Song So earlier today, the number one singles player, Iskander, won in three games against Ang of uh, Singapore. It was a very good start. Ryan Ang won the first 21-19. A 19-year-old is Eddie Susanto, who will be the man in the big chair. <coughs> Ready to play, all right. They've been warming up for a while. They've heard the roar of the crowd. They know what the overall situation is. And so it's now up to Law to put Singapore's path in the right direction. They're 2-0 down. In the semi-finals, uh, Singapore beat Myanmar 3-1 and uh, Malaysia beat Lao 3-1, okay. oh. no, 3-0. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Malaysia, represented by Song Jervan. And on my left, Singapore, represented by Lo Ken Yu. Malaysia to serve, the ball, play. Song to serve, opening this second singles rubber. Oh. Just have to get accustomed again. If you're viewing badminton, uh, or if you've done it so and seldom, you can uh, always remember that the doubles court, like in a lot of these sort of games, at tennis for example, is a wider court for doubles. So you work on the inner sidelines. So one all it is. Having watched the doubles previously, when you see the players scrambling right across the wider court. It takes a bit to get back into the singles situation. Back line, of course, it's uh, always the same. Oh. 
just falling outside the singles area and clearly defined all the time Handy first up for Singapore, start certainly similar to what we saw in the first singles when the Singapore representatives representative started very well took an early lead 6-1 good height from the back of the court down the line This is the younger brother of King Hen. Seven, one. And it's Song unable to get into it. Down by one seven. That's better. Song blasting one wide to the forehand and deep into the corner. Well, you might at home or wherever you're watching this think it's really noisy. But when you're inside the stadium, <laughs> it's deafening at times. he's been playing in this early stages of the first game that was unexpected from Law and he's dropped two points in succession more like it from him Song's weight was going to his left and Lo banged that one away the other side he leads 10-4 first game of the second singles Singapore really need this to stay in for the chance of winning and going through to the final
pushing him over to his left, to his backhand. Then punishing him on the other hand. Would be his backhand if he was a right-hander. <laughs> Far the longest rally. And Song prevails. He allowed nothing there for the Singaporean. Law, who got some very quick points early in this game. long 12 5 just sat on the net and went his side sometimes difficult to gauge when you're watching this that's why we rely on the excellent camera work to bring us those slow motions and the replays just to reinforce what the referee has called another tip of the top of the net and well regained by Song going over the line over the inside though oh, sorry I was going to say just giving him the point 14-6 turn around 15-6 now Singapore who uh, law can you started so well up to 9-1 I think it was at one stage so while Sung has come back in the early stages uh, middle stages and there's still a sizable gap 15-7 though no, that was a confident smash up and wham 
very quick. Scrambled, but still Song was able to get there and put a winner away. Nice scrambling from the Singapore player. Now, where did that shuttle go? It stayed in. Song, you then. The more vocal of the two, look, pumps his fist. And a sound of, yeah, there's another one. It's been convincing so far. Two points away from the first game. Savisora, 9-19. Another point. So we're at game point here. 20, game point, 9. That was nicely judged from close to the net. Push it deep into the corner. No chance for Song. And he finishes it with a flourish. 21 9. First game won by Singapore. 21 9. Very confident and impressive first game from Lo Ken Yu taking it 21 to 9 <laughs> so the overall situation is that Malaysia lead by Two rubbers to nil, having won the first singles, 2-1, and the first doubles, 2-1. And it's now up to Singapore's second singles player, Lo Kin Hu, uh, to bring his nation back into this. Just remember, or if you saw the, the doubles, where we had a situation where Singapore weren't in the first game against Malaysia. They lost at 21-10 and uh, looked out of sorts totally. At, after a chat at the break, out they came and they won the second 22-20. It was a completely different combination that appeared. So they played exceptionally well. They lived up to their ability.
and won the second. So that forced Malaysia one, into one, desperate measures in the one, third, one, but they did second. win this. So we'll see what happens with Song after the break. Okay. Okay, but at the moment, it really is Lo who's looking the dominant player. Winning the first 21-9. Here we go. Second game. Well, that's a continuation of the first one, one love, love Singapore lead set up nice point Another one. Three, two. Three, two. <laughs> and Song is a little bit more animated. Do you agree? He's geeing himself up a little. This is different. That jump smash gave look no opportunity at all. Okay. I think the noise has increased. Oh, nice play there from Ork. Yeah, nice play from Singapore. 5 3. Just stayed in. Didn't even bother to turn around and watch that. Four, Knew it was gone.
Had a very good rally. And these two are turning it on for the crowd now. Five all. Game two. Singapore taking the first. Line judge points down the line. And he's right. Point to Malaysia. Song to serve. 6-5. Into it now, Song, just the fist pump, muttering to himself, this is a different player to what we saw in the first. He's got a three-point lead now. Body shot makes it four points. Semi-final of the team's event at the SEA Games 2017 here in Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia winning the first singles rubber and the first doubles. different game in the second game that's a great angle isn't it well head down looks up at his opponent as he walks away looking taller than he was in the first game a few shots that go your way can make all the difference. 11-7, Malaysia still a long way to go in this. Hot one, 20 seconds. Hot one, 20 seconds. Okay. Okay, ready? 11-7. The other semi-final is Indonesia against Thailand.
Service over at 11. Back to four. Lord Ken Yu, whose brother played in the doubles previously with Terry He. They were beaten in three. 2-1 it was the score, 2-1. So both of them are Malaysian born and been in Singapore for the last uh, 12 years or so when they were around about eight. There's still a lot of the family is here, parents are still here, and siblings and other relatives. So as they said, they'll probably they'll get a bit of ribbing for playing in Malaysia, but in a different country's colours, and particularly when they're playing against Malaysia. Very good rally this. Oh, Malaysian prevails. 14-9. Why wouldn't you play well and produce your best when you've got this sort of support in the stand? It's never ceasing the noise, the chant. a smile on his face. I don't know what's happened out there. Maybe he's he might be hearing some personal stuff from <laughs> up in the stand. Maybe family members in there giving him a bit. 11, 14. <laughs> Long was starting to look a little bit frazzled. Earlier in this second, he looks a bit more calm and composed now. Sort of back to what he looked like in the first game when he was quite dominant at Just imagine these two will have a long time rivalry. They have similar age. Lot is 20, Sung 22. They're going to meet in all sorts of competitions, particularly in the Asian region. But if they're both to continue as will become full time players, then they will certainly be meeting plenty of times. He gets a good line call there, 16 12.
Second game. Second singles rubber. Whoa. Flipping the net with the smash. 18-12. Samisova. Rokin, 18. Now, can Lowe put together a string of scores? He hasn't managed to in this second game. There's one. One can he put together? That's it. Now 4 points the difference Take 10 19 Gets one back and the service Oh, which way did that go? Uh, against the Singaporean. Game point now for the Malaysian Sung Juven. Oh, that's the way it goes. Just sits on top, but decided backwards was the way rather than toppling forward. 2016. There it is, second game. 21-17, Song. Second game won by Malaysia. 21-17. A decider again. One each of the one. rubbers, each of the ties has gone to three. 
Iskandar winning the first men's singles 21 19 17 I'm sorry 19 21 21 17 21 10 Malaysia winning the doubles 10 21 sorry 21 10 uh, 20 22 and 21 15 and now we're one game each in the second men's singles to go he wants to okay. continue with that momentum which he built up in the second game Final the song game. of Malaysia Not to ball. serve he's in Play. the far court here he is yeah. first point though goes the way of Blue. That's a nice slow motion replay for you and again. sometimes reacting to any smashes I just enjoy that that's the exciting part I suppose of badminton but they also a very appreciative audience <coughs> acknowledging the superb skill at the net the little drop shots changes of angle the deception close to the net and the all-round athleticism of course of badminton players look to be on top of that rally Three points in a row it was for Law. Yeah, that was a good point. And he had his opponent stretching away to his offside over to there to his forehand and then the other side of the court was wide open four one still with service oh. delightful 
Gets the line call too. Song. Next up, the smash. Yeah, on the line. Malaysia has won the gold medal four times since 1977 in fact four times in all I think uh, even before that but the dominant nation has been Indonesia and Indonesia is involved in the other semi-final against Thailand so the winners of these two semi-finals of course will front up in the final judgment there from Song. Six, four. Whoa. There was a bit of anger in that. Didn't need to worry about judging that one. That was always going wide. This is the third and decider. And the second men singles, and it's six all. Just love that crowd. It was off his feet, rising to play it from the back, and the crowd yelled out. Ah, that time they were rewarded. Seven all. This one here.
perseverance paying off. Song had the opportunity really to smash but didn't. And he holds a 1.98. Oh, lovely. Song of Malaysia leading law of Singapore. Deciding game of this second men's rubber. And they change ends. Different complexion on this game when the first Danza saw 21-9 go up on the scoreboard. That was in favour of the man in red from Singapore. Pot one, 20 Lock. second. Can you? Pot one, 20 second. Okay. And this man here looked well out okay, of it. Good. But as we've seen previously, okay. re-energised at the break. And he came back a different player. He won the second 21-17. He has a slender lead okay, ready? in the third as we've got to the 11 point stage where the players switch ends. Song has the serve. Deep in the back court. So one point the difference now, 11 10. These two try to get an advantage, a decent advantage for Singapore. It's really important to take the game, uh, the semi-final further. They drop the first two ties, the men's singles, first men's singles and the first doubles. Of course, this is a men's team event. I don't know why I stressed men's singles, but the first singles and the first doubles. the call gone to Malaysia
head. Song on the ground. Good play from the Singaporean. Steve Song on the ground. Getting up and moving to his right. And there's the right idea, correct idea, to push it to the other side. To the left-hander's forehand. But it took the net. 14-10. Which must be difficult to shut that crowd out and particularly when you come initially from this country you've got family here and it's the situation with the man in Singapore uniform Lo Kian Yu playing really good badminton here Semisola, 11 15 Two quick points. Both players on edge. Nervous energy, bouncing on the spot. Pumped up. Low. Did this just take the net top of the net? Yep. Oh, delicate shot, little push from the net at the feet of Song. Oh, out of range of the feet of Song, who is lunging here. One point. The difference. Great little flick. Every point vital now, 16, 15. A 
fist pump. It's become a part of every sport. They're fighting. They're each fighting for this for their team. Oh. Watch this again, the smash here from the baseline. I think as we judge it there, that was certainly in. Here we go. If anything, it possibly hit his racket. Oh no, oh, on the bounce it did. 17 16. Well, this could go either way, couldn't it? We've had a game each. 21 9 to this man, the first. 21 17 to this man, the second. And neither player has been able to break away on the third. seen a great array of shots some superb play from these two young men who are just in their 20s 15, 15. The push from the service line falls back 18, 16. ahead very effective oh very good response though from low this is far from over looking to push it over back he goes it was like it was the point to win the match Singapore to serve Match point. All the coaches looking totally calm outwardly.
What a final point it was. He's come back. Song Juven has come back from 21-9 down on the first game to win the next two, 21-17, 21-18. A fighter, without doubt. Final point coming up. It brought your forward. And the final push from the Singaporean was too long. down to his knees he goes and the crowd winds up for him they've been pumped up and with him all the time he couldn't help but be inspired by the support from this wonderful Malaysian crowd here in Kuala Lumpur and there's the final score line 9-21 21-17 2 won the game score 3-0 the match score Malaysia have just had the edge on Singapore throughout 2-1, 2-1, 2-1 the game scores and a tie 3-0 in favour of Malaysia the first of the men's semi-finals and the Malaysian crowd has had plenty to go on about here. Some outstanding badminton played by young players, all in their late teens, early 20s. But it's Malaysia who have taken 3-0 the tie over Singapore. Yeah, represented by...